What's up guys? Welcome to another video with your buddy the Only Coast Crafter. And today, for today's tutorial, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to make a vertical lift till. This is a little bit different than obviously the inclined normal diagonal lift tills that you guys usually see. I also have a tutorial on that one, which you guys can see later. But today I'm going to show you how to build a vertical lift till, which is a little bit different and also a little bit more difficult than your abnormal lift till. So, let's get right to it and enjoy today's tutorial. Okay, so right here I'm showing you the bottom section of a vertical lift tool. As you can see right here, um, we have our motor ready with a little contraption right here of our um, gear sections, which are going to make our lift tool go a lot faster than usual. And uh, what we have here, obviously we have the gear uh, right under the track. So the first thing you want to actually do is make sure the track is elevated enough to be far above the gear right here. And you want to make sure you position the gear. I'm going to kind of show an example image right here. I'm going to show that you need to pl place the gear right under a slot of the track. That way the chain is able to pass through. And you don't want the chain going in the slot behind it or too far in front of it because the car won't be able to catch it at that point and right here will just make your lift tail very choppy and not very smooth so once you have that gear in place i also have a gear in the back which is right here in this little shaft right here that i created for the chain i have one right there to kind of catch the chain that's coming through the bottom so it can easily feed right into the main gear right here that way it's not bumping into any of the shaft and it's also able to transfer smoothly so once you have that down, you want to make sure within the chain, it's going to be pulled through right here. And you want to make sure that you leave enough space right here. That is because when the, ch when the train comes in, it's going to want to attach to the chain and then switch it flush to the track right here. You want to make sure you leave enough space so that way it is able to push against it. So what I typically like to do, I turn on the motor once I have the full lift hill done. And then I push up against here to make sure that it is still able to run at this point. Now, obviously, if you push against it too hard, you really just need to push it against it so it's able to push up against the chain guides, as you can see right here. So once it's far enough that way and you're able to just have your hand on it for a few seconds, it should be good because the train is only going to pass over for about one to two seconds. As for the top lift tool, we kind of have the same rules that are going to apply here. You want to make sure first you have your uh, catch gear right under a slot of the track right here. So the chain is able to run smoothly around. And then I also have this one right here. This is to push it right into the vertical shaft right here because obviously there's this big gap right here. Usually on a normal lift tool, the chain would just easily wrap around this one gear and then we'll be able to pass through all the way down to the next one. But for right here, I have to push it along into the shaft with this other gear right here. That way it's able to support easily. And then the chain is not just like slacking over here very sloppily. So I do this just for um, just for cleanliness around the lift tail and to also make sure it runs smoothly because I don't usually like a whole bunch of chain flopping in this section right here. So the last thing I want to show you guys is making sure you have enough torque around the wheels. So the way I do this is inside the shaft, I have this little um, uh, connector piece here with the rod going across here. And that is keeping the chain going this way and from going outwards because if it does go outwards so once i take it off is obviously it is very loose in here and it has too much slack in the lift hill so that way the the train will not be lifted up very smoothly so the way to do this is you have to tighten it up just a bit also while leaving space down here still where the where the lift hill is going to be also still leaving space enough for this to be pushed to push down and then that way it is still able to um fully run the run the train up without it stopping or stalling on the lift hill. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you guys have any other questions about doing this, be sure to leave your comments down below, or you can also follow me on Instagram at RollerCoasterCrafter, no spaces or caps. You can DM me uh, very specific and exclusive questions about uh, anything regarding connects or roller coasters. I am willing to help you guys out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos as I'll keep them coming. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time on the Coaster Crafter channel. Peace!